benefit of all of our residents, both visitors and residents that are here. It's an honor for me to be unveiling and commissioning the administrative and gatehouse of Banana Island Resident Association, one of the foremost resident associations in Lagos. They are very law abiding, they are very committed to the legal Lagos agenda, they are very forward looking and they obey the rules and regulations of our city. So we're happy to be part of them, to join them in this um, self-finance um, um, investment Thank you, for the benefit of all residents and all their visitors that will be coming here. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the Banana Island Gate House, official commissioning by the Governor of Lagos State, his name is there, which is done by the 2022-2024 Expo, that's important for prosperity, Chairman Frank, Vice Chairman, they make our way. So you see, we public officers, when we put our name, you see, the name also put there because people whose memory are always very short. Yes. The general yes. secretary, yes. Mrs. Feintola Bada, the legal advisor, Mr. Dipayo, me, Oya Gola, uh, financial secretary, Mr. Patrick, treasurer, Mr. Lavidui, social secretary, Madam Jane, and the public relations, relations officer. It's really a beautiful flag, and I imagine that residents and visitors of Banana will respect all of the great work that you have done. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, um, on behalf of the government and people of Lagos State, um, we're happy to be here this morning to come and join the residents of Banana um, Resident Association to unveil, commission, and handover for your users your um, estate administrative building which I yeah. imagine will be a place of convergence, a place of dispute resolution, a place of information, communication, a place of community engagement in whatever issues, in whatever problem, in whatever information you require, either as a resident or as a visitor, or even as government, so that we have a working relationship between government, between the residents and the executive. And so investment like this, uh, um, properties or, or offices like this, help to you know, um, resolve issues. Resolve issues that we all might not you know, um, have the capacity individually to resolve. And so that's why I want to enjoin the residents to continue to work with their executive. You have chosen those your executives. I think it's important for you to donate those responsibilities to them and work with them. Lagos State Government appreciates that they are also a resolver of issues for us. You know, in a few times we've had to come and we we'll respect the relationship we have with them. And so it's an honor that I'm here to unveil and hand over this your building to you for your usage and for the usage of the entire residence. 
And so therefore, it's my honor and my privilege to do this for you. Thank you very much. Yes, Once again, we are the third um, unveiling and commissioning event here inside Banana Island for the residents. This one is around um, relaxation, which is important. It's an important component of communal healthy living lifestyle. and healthy lifestyle. You know, you can walk, you can, you can relax, and you also can um, enjoy. And so here now we have the, the estate um, recreational ground. It has sports center facility. It has ambience onto the lagoon. And this um, was heavily sponsored by Messrs. Providos Bank. They've got their ATM machine here as well. And they've done a um, wonderful job on the football pitch and the long tennis court. Everything, basketball court on Astro Tough. Um, and and I, you can see that it's all proper land use. They, they've converted you, you know, a dead asset you know, that hitherto was not um, friendly, was not um, an eye to behold, but they've turned it to um, a place where um, residents can indeed um, have community engagement and have a better relationship amongst themselves. These are some of the things that engender, you know, um, co-location, co-living, co-habitation, and a better lifestyle at the end of the day. So, on behalf of um, the residents, the executives that have done this, it's my honor to first thank Mrs. Providos for being part of this, for the executive that were very proactive and forward-looking, and to all the residents that will also be using this, I commission and I unveil this facility for your benefit. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, this will be the third and the final commissioning. Um, all of this great commissioning um, is happening here at inside the Banana Island um, Estate. So this final one, which is the big elephant, is the Banana Island Residence Booth Club. Um, this is a facility that was jointly developed by the residents via the executive and of course um, MTN um, via their 
uh, social corporate responsibility angle um, as also a responsible corporate entity knowing and understanding the benefit um, that um, a facility like this will do to the residents and by extension their customers. So this place will be open to all residents and to all of the corporate entities that are um, either working or residing inside Banana. Of course, the facilities, I'm told, are top-notch and you will have the opportunity to use all the facilities that are in these premises. And so I want to once again commend the outgoing executive for these very, very, very laudable projects that they've been able to embark upon in the last two, three years. You've seen we started with the gatehouse and all of the amenities around entrance, ingress and outgress of the estate with the First Bank experience, with offices. We also went to the recreation and sports ground that has facility for football, basketball, volleyball, long tennis, and a seat out. And finally here at the boat club, all within the Banana Island Resident Association. I think the executive deserve a round of applause. If I dare say that um, whatever it is and whatever strategy they've used to put all of this together, we can see there are physical things. These are infrastructural projects that you can see. And I want to commend the executive and the residents that probably are donated, you know, um, via levy or donation, you know, and, and to say that I believe that your money has been well spent. Thank you, sir. And like I said, you know, you need to continue to support and work with your executive is important because what that does for you is you resolve issues very quickly and you know and 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 and, 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 and time and i want to to the glory of god unveil and commission this premises for and to the entire residents both individual and corporates in banana island your booth club is now open for you thank you very much is here because one of the projects that we have commissioned, the football field, was actually inspired by a visit by the governor. And the governor was so kind to offer the state government assistance in joining with us to build. That we then, that we then quickly thought that we don't want people in Mushi to hear that state government funds are being used to build recreation center for 
the rich in banana. So we went to one of the rich, Providos Bank, who very willingly funded the project. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. The other thing I'd like to say, Your Excellency, because I know how very busy uh, your day is today, is to make a plea. The access road to banana, when it rains, sometimes the estate is locked down. I want to make a special plea. I know you. When you make a promise, you deliver. I hope you will make a promise today. Promise, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We, we have done the best we can with the local government, but it needs an intervention at a higher level. And we thank you uh, for the generosity. The first citizen of Lagos State, please, the, your, please, with a resounding applause, put your hands together for His Excellency, Mr. Babajide Sonwolu. Thank you very much, and um, let me, uh, through my cabinet members that are here, um, officials of Lagos State, let me um, truly express our appreciation to the outgoing management of the Banana Island Resident Association, led by a capable Nigerian a man of impeccable character, a man that understands what integrity, competence, capacity truly stands for. Mr. Frank, I believe. I, with every sense of respect, I have taken time to express my delight to this man, not because he's just your chairman, but because I know in the other part of his life, outside of Banana Island, what he truly stands for. When this government baked about five, five and a half years ago, it was not just a critic, it was a positive critic that we worked together in Apapa at that time to create a solution that today now we are truly happy that we're able to solve this problem. So it's a man that we have handled each other, we have, we have spoken truth to one another, and he consistently stays on the side of what is fair, what is just, and what is transparent. And so to you, the residents of Banana, quite frankly, he might have, I mean, and, and that's his name, quite, I mean, Frank, quite frankly, you know, um, he might have served you very well for two years. But I want to say to you, that indeed, you're going to be missing a resident, a man that is indeed a, a definition of what a true Nigerian truly really should represent, Mr. Frank Aibu. Um, but I also know that you haven't achieved this alone. You have a team that believed in your leadership, that surrendered to your leadership, and they've worked tirelessly with you to achieve this great um, feet and this, you know, phenomenal infrastructural uh, development that you've put into this resident. And so the speech is not about what has happened. It's about what will now happen going forward. And so my admonition and my request will be for the incoming executive. Indeed, going around this estate this afternoon, really, really, you know, you have a big job to do. The shoes that they've created for you I really hope that you can check your shoe sizes and you can truly, really fit into it because indeed they are very, very big. But I know that if you apply wisdom, if you apply wisdom and you can draw from the wealth of your predecessor, it will help you greatly to be able to navigate, you know, um, um, what you are freely, you know, um, set yourself to want to, you want to um, show amongst your residents that you have the leadership capability. And I know that the residents have chosen very well, even with the incoming leadership. So I want to say that all of the things we've seen here, and I did make a disclosure when I was coming in that 
I'm not, not, I'm not yet a resident. And you see, I was treating somebody there that is my landlord, because I, they gave me a small bungalow that each time the rent expires, I get a phone call, you know. Um, but, but the point to note is that, you know, it's important that when we come back here two, three years from today, that all of these facilities are still well maintained. Maintenance is one thing that we need to be able to, I mean, earn and respect in this part of the world. All of the sporting facilities that they've donated to you, all of the ATM machines that are there, all of the things that we see here, the, the, the responsibility will see that they are well maintained, they are functional three years down the line, four years down the line, five years down the line, so that indeed both the residents and the people that have supported and donated this will be encouraged to want to also do more you know, and continue to see that it was money well spent. And to all the residents, you know, um, like I said, and I also say it, you know, you are one of the 1% of the 1% of the 1%. But it's not anybody's fault. It's, and it's neither yours. It's because, in my view, you've all earned it. You've worked tirelessly to be where you are. And the minimum we can do as a government is also to support you. It's also to ensure that where you work and play and you relax, it also reflects what contribution each and every one of you is given to our state and to our country at large. Right? And so you don't owe anybody any explanation or any apology right? if this place speaks to what it is. And it's because you've taken time you know, to be conscious of what your environment looks like. And that's why you've all respected each other to ensure that your individualism, you have surrendered it to your, to your uh, executive for them to be able to take care of the things that individually you don't need to take care. Because you can imagine if everybody now needs to clean up the frontage of his, of his, of his residence, clean up or nurture the, 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 uh, the grasses all around their houses, or ensure that you know when you are coming in, is a house step that's coming to open the gate for you at the main entrance. They've made all of that available for you. And so that is what communal living, that's what it, it represents. You will surrender believing that you have capable and, 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 and competent leadership to help navigate, you know, making sure that the environment continues to speak, you know, to what you expect. But whilst doing that, it's also to explain and express to the, um, first to the outgoing and to the incoming, that Lagos State officials are currently enjoying a very cordial working relationship. And I said, I mean, I use those words carefully, working relationship, with the current executive. So what it means is that where there are, you know, infractions, where there are, there are, there are, there are, there are um, things that need to be corrected, where there are rules to be made, where there are fees to be paid, the executive have worked with the officials of Lagos State to ensure that they reach out to those residents or to those developers and ensure that the right thing is done. I'm going to enjoin and plead with the incoming executive Please let that kind of relationship, let it further, you know, um, and continue and let it also further deepen, such that if you also even see that, ah, government will not be happy with this, that you can also call and say that Mr. Commissioner or Mr. Director or Mr. Pam said, we're noticing these kind of things and it's not what is in our plan. Can you come and let us look at it together and we'll resolve it? It's not that you're doing anything hard, but you're just ensuring that everybody you know, as much as possible, keep within the rules, you know, of engagement within the next day. And that's the only way where we all live, you know, quabit, you know, and we live well and expect, you know, all the very, very best out of where you live. You know, finally, it's really to thank all of your donors and sponsors that have done these things to you. I know their names, you know, I know, mention, I know their names. I know the one there, the one there, the one here. What chairman has done for me is that I will ensure that I take them and I'll take them to a place called Ajegun and Yanopaja and Red. And we'll try and we will try and creatively get them to also push their corporate social engagement in some of those. They are doing great things around Lagos, I dare say. But we're probably just going to ensure that they do a bit more. You know, but we're, we're happy with all of them, what they've become and what you know Lagos is indeed, you know, um, it's about. And so really is to congratulate all of you, you know, is to commend you. I'm sure that you have your challenges around 
with uh, the executive, they are too hard, they are too strict, they are too this. It's really because they want you to have a place you can call home, that when you sleep, you truly, really sleep with your two eyes closed, you know. And the chairman has made a big request to say that the access road, you know, onto Banana, we should help to fix. I know, because if I check it, a lot of you are responsible corporate citizens. Some might not, but let's use this as an appeal that if you think that you're also not doing all of the numbers in terms of paying what is due to government, please do it. I have citizens here, here, that are one of the best in Lagos State in corporate social responsibility, that are paying the best, the best, the best in our state. They are here, residents. And so if we can just get people to copy them, right, it will make life a lot better for us. But I want to stand here and say that it's a government for all. And so you made a request. I know that the challenge on that road is a major outfall. And so we need to be able to discharge that water, right, onto the canal that is out on the right, you know, and see how we also can navigate some canal and get it on the left. It's, un it's unfortunate that an island that is Banana Island does not even have access to enough water to discharge the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know, ask my Commissioner for Environment and Drainage, um, who I will, I will keep his name for security reasons, um, you know, to let us look at it again. To let us look at it again and let us see. Because it's not just to do the road. The road to, to be done is the easiest. It's actually the outfall. It is the drainage that usually kills any road. You know, to put bitumen and the rest of it, but they don't like water. So it is an outfall. If you, and if you're looking at it, you'll see that it is those outfalls that we need to have a major outlet that needs to carry it and be able to discharge it you know, to the bigger bottle of water. Commissioner for Waterfront is there. And so they, they, when I speak, they understand what it means that they will come back and let us see if there is a bigger solution with them. My fear, my fear is that on that road, there's somebody that has blocked that drainage. You see that? And that's the thing. It's not any rocket science. Somebody, that drainage or that alignment that's supposed to carry a bigger channel of water, somebody has built on it. And that's some of our problems. Somebody has built on it. And that's why all of you in one form are suffering that today. So you can see where the challenges of governance, you know, come out from. With all our best intentions. I saw them, they're also demolishing some property also in Parkview. Because people also will build on drainage channels. A drainage channel that has been kept to be three meters or two and a half meters, people think that uh, give them one meter. No. It's physics. Huge body of water needs that size to be able to drain, you know, when it rains. It's simple physics. It's, it's, and so once you have it, you know, in 30 minutes, the whole place will be cleared up. But if it is constricted, that's when it will stay on the road. So I'm going to plead with you, you know, to work with us. You know, whatever it is that we believe will be the last solution, we will come up with it, you know. And so understand that I don't have a better interest to want to demolish anybody's house. I don't have any interest to want to make life uncomfortable for anybody. That wasn't what we swore for. We swore to make life a lot more meaningful for each and every one of you. And so it will not be a, a joy for me to want to come out and so, governor, two and a half years, you're out of it. So why do you need to create enemies where you don't have to? But the responsibility is that while we're there and we need to do the right thing, please encourage us once we want to do the right thing. Once again, I want to thank and commend your outgoing executive management led by Mr. Frank for a great well, job well done and to encourage the incoming to keep up the facility, to encourage the residents to pay your dues, to support your leadership, to donate money for them so that they can indeed make this place what it is and what sh should indeed be um, um, a, 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 a worthwhile, you know, um, resident association. Thank you very much for listening and indeed it's an honor for you to have invited us this afternoon. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe my governor deserves some more. Please put your hands together for him. That's the finest governor we have. That's the 15th.
We sure hope you enjoyed this video. For more entertaining video content such as behind the scenes of music videos and movies, music concerts, premieres, interviews and exclusive gists, subscribe now to our YouTube channel Goldmine TV and be unleashed into a world of super excitement.